Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perambu Ministries welcomes you for Thought for the Night Devotion. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this evening. In Jesus' most precious name, we all need encouragement from time to time. All of us at some point of time face a crisis when everything seems to fall apart. There are times of discouragement when things go wrong even when we are trying to do the right things. At such times, people may even say, that's what we get for trying to do right. There are times of uncertainty, when you don't know how things are going to turn out. There are times of stress, when our load seems heavier than we can bear. The task is more than we can handle. There can also be times of fear, when our very sense of security is threatened. In all these kinds of situations, we need to be encouraged in the Lord of our God. For our devotion this evening, let's read 1 Samuel chapter 30 and verse 6. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. When we face difficult times of life, we should never turn to people to be encouraged, but rather we should learn to be encouraged in the Lord our God. The Hebrew word for encouragement is kazak, which means to strengthen, to prevail, to be firm and to be strong. We as God's children can be encouraged this evening in whatever situation and bleakest hour that we may go through. We can be firm and never be moved in whatever situation we may face. Because it's the Lord God who is with us and because He is with us, we shall never be moved. Many of us, as we travel through life's journey, are bound to face situations that we tend to think that all hope is lost. Our hearts get gripped with fear, which leads us to be discouraged. But we need to be aware that we are not alone when we face the difficult situations that come our way. We are the Lord God Almighty with us to encourage us and who will see us through every situation and circumstance. We will not be victims, but victors. Discouragement is common to man, and in dealing with it, we need toughness. Discouragement is not to be tolerated or valued in. It has to be fought. If we linger in discouragement, it can be costly. It can keep us defeated. It can keep us from doing what we need to do because we don't want to face it. And it can even be contagious, weakening other people's faith. When we feel discouraged, we want comfort, which is right. But the comfort we often turn to are the ways to avoid our fears rather than ways to muster our courage to face it and overcome it. David knew how to encourage himself with the Lord is God. 600 men had sided with David and settled down in a town called Ziglag. Returning home one day, the men found the town burned, the livestock and possessions stolen, and the wives and children taken captives by the Amalekites. In their anger and grief, the men turned against David, blaming him for all the loss. They began to talk of stoning him for all the good that he had done for his people. David was all alone. No one was there to encourage him, but his own home burned and his family taken he could have just slipped into despondency and given up. In his moments of distress, in the heat of discouragement, David turned to the one true God to be encouraged. There was nowhere else he could go to but the Lord is God. Sooner or later, life does it to all of us. There can be great healing in solitude. Many times when people fail us, we can turn to the Lord for divine encouragement. David also asked the Lord for direction and God revealed to him that he should lead his people to pursue the Amalekites and promise that he would be victorious. And that's exactly what happened in the life of David. David and his men defeated that enemy and recovered their wives, children, possession and livestock. The Bible says that David recovered all. Because David sought the Lord God for encouragement and guidance, he came through those difficult moments in life. You can be assured this evening that God will bring you out of every difficult situation and you will recover all that you have lost in life. How can we encourage ourselves? We need to wait before the Lord our God. Oftentimes when we face difficult situations, we want to make a quick decision to relieve the pressure. When we take time to wait upon the Lord God, the Lord will take time to direct us. The Lord wants us to seek Him in times of adversity. When we fail to wait upon God, we will usually fail to rely on Him. We need to ask God for His guidance. Seek the Lord about your decisions. There is no such thing as a predicament too complex for God. He knows ahead of time what problems we will face in life. And He knows exactly how best to handle them. 
any time and we are willing to acknowledge our inadequacy and seek his guidance and direction, we can be assured that God will answer us. Though there may be a delay, but we can be assured that God will work out wonderful things in our life. We need to recall God's help in the past. One of the most powerful ways to encourage ourselves is to remember how the Lord had been faithful to us in days gone by. When people forget what God has done in days gone by, we will begin to murmur and grumble against God. But this evening, God wants us to reflect on His faithfulness so that we can encourage ourselves in the Lord our God. Don't let your heart be ruled by what you see. Let them be ruled by what God has promised you. Are you having a hard time believing that God will turn everything for good? What looks so bad to you this evening? We need to remember that everything is working for our good because we are a people who love the Lord and are called according to His purpose. Get encouragement, faith-fueled courage. Don't let discouragement choke you. Discouragement becomes dislodged by believing God's promises. God has given us His word that through His word we can believe what He has spoken to each one of us and we can find divine rest for our souls and divine encouragement in every difficult situation that we go through in life. May God bless you and may God be with you. Amen.